Hi, this is Dr. Kristen Reynolds. I wanted to talk a little bit today about hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT. Hyperbaric oxygen involves going into a pressurized chamber while having 100% oxygen via face mask or nasal cannula. So you have the pressurized chamber, which is gonna to help to push oxygen into the body, and then you get the oxygen. It is similar to diving underwater about 11 feet. So if you dive deep into a pool, you have to pop your ears. So you do have to be able to equalize your ears when doing this, but it's a large enough chamber that it's pretty comfortable for most people. And hyperbaric oxygen therapy does the following things. It increases oxygenation, it turns on detoxification pathways, and when we turn on detox pathways, we can pull out inflammation from the body. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy has also been shown to affect genetic expression, meaning it can help to turn on good genes and turn off bad genes, or the expression of those genes. And actually, studies have shown that the mild or soft-sided hyperbaric chambers affect 8,000 genes in a positive way than the hard-sided hyperbaric chambers, which affect around 4,000. So more is not always better, but it depends on the condition that you're treating. Who would benefit from hyperbaric oxygen therapy? Well, it's good for just about everyone, but I pretty much think about it for anything brain-related. So neurodegenerative conditions such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, post-stroke, and especially concussion. Long-haul COVID, autoimmune conditions, and many other conditions can benefit from hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I wanna to focus today specifically on concussion. So the neurosurgeon from the Denver Broncos has coined the term subconcussion. And this is a hit to the head which might seem mild, but insensitive individuals can actually cause symptoms similar to concussions, such as brain fog or neurocognitive things down the road. He also recognizes how repeat concussion or repeat hits to the head can lead to worse symptoms over time. And we know this now and not a lot has come out on this from just in the literature and the NFL has been a lot more open about this. In fact, you know, the movie several years back, Concussion featuring Will Smith, that movie actually showed how detrimental concussions and especially repeat concussions can be for people in the long run. And the question would be why? I think if you think about the brain in the following manner, it will help you to understand it. So the brain is surrounded by the blood brain barrier, which I think of as saran wrap around the brain. And it's great for preventing infections and toxins from getting into the brain, but it also prevents things from getting out of the brain. So it can prevent inflammation from coming out of the brain. Basically, this inflammation can build up over time after concussion or repetitive head hits, and that can lead to brain fog, migraines, dementia, and other neuropsychiatric symptoms. So when we take someone into the hyperbaric oxygen chamber, we are now forcing oxygen free floating into the plasma to go straight to the brain and help to oxygenate those areas that have been injured and also turning on those detoxification pathways to help pull out that inflammation that's affecting the brain in the long run. Reach out to us if you have more questions. We think hyperbaric oxygen therapy is great for so many things. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Saxena here, Chief Medical Officer at Form Health. Thanks for visiting our channel. Make sure to subscribe to get the latest insights and information on functional and integrative medicine.